In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make these super cute little mini stockings. I love this pattern because it has a really nice texture to it and they come together fairly quickly. It should take you no longer than 30 minutes to whip one of these up. And it's just the right size to put a little gift card in and give them away as little Christmas presents. And I hope you guys make it and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. So to make your stockings, you're gonna just need a few different things. You need two different colors of yarn. I'm using Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn in white and in key lime, a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. Now let's go ahead and start with the white yarn. This is gonna be the tip of the stocking here. So we're gonna make what's called a magic circle, magic ring, whatever you'd like to call it. So to make that, you want to place your yarn in your hand just like this pinch it just so that that way you can make an X turn your fingers over now there's two little loops on your fingers take your hook go underneath that first line grab that second piece of yarn pull it down now twist your crochet hook towards you and see that little V up top there you're gonna to wanna to go into that V, grab this chain here, and pull it through. So now you can tighten this, you can make it looser, but here's where we're gonna start. So the first thing that we need to do is put six half double crochets into the center of this ring here. So to do a half double crochet, you wanna yarn over, put your hook through, pull up a loop, Yarn over and pull through all three. So let's do that again. Yarn over, put it in the center of your circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. There's two. Yarn over, go inside, pull up a loop. There's three. Yarn over, pull up a loop. There's four. There's five and one more. And there's six. So now this little chain or this tail here, you can pull that, tighten it up, and it closes off your little circle. So into the top of the first half double crochet, we're gonna put a slip stitch. So go ahead and take your hook and put it right through there. Pull your yarn through and through chain one. So for round two, we're going to put two half double crochets into the top of each of these stitches for a total of 12. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to put two half double crochets into the first stitch. There's one and two. Two into the next stitch. Two into the next stitch, two into the next, and keep going until you have a total of 12. Now to finish this round, you're just gonna slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet and chain one. We're gonna increase our circle one more time. So to do that, you put two half double crochets into the top of that first stitch. There's one and two. Now go to the second stitch there put another one, just one. So you put two half double crochets into that first one into that next one. Now we're gonna go into the next stitch and put two half double crochets. And then one. And then two. And then one. And repeat that all the way across until you have a total of 18. 
All right, so I've made it to my last stitch. You should end this round with one half double crochet. And we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that first half double crochet from that round, but we're gonna change colors. So you're gonna put your hook through to start the slip stitch. You're gonna grab your second color. And you're gonna pull this one through. So pull it through both of those and chain one. So give that little white a tug and then we can cut that off. We won't need it. So now we're gonna chain one more. So it is a total of chain two. And what we want to do is put one double crochet. So we're switching to a double crochet stitch on each of these um, stitches across for a total of 18. The chain two does not count as a double crochet. So we want to start by putting a double crochet into that same stitch that we joined into. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. We're gonna do that 17 more times. All right, I'm coming to my last double crochet here. This is my 18th double crochet. And then I wanna slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet. So not the chain two, but that first double crochet. Put your hook in. We're gonna slip stitch and chain two. So now here's where we're gonna start the textured pattern in this little mini stocking here. So to do that, we need to start with a front post half double crochet into that first double crochet from the previous round. So if you've never done that before, it's very simple. You just yarn over. Instead of going through the top, like you normally would, you wanna go through that post there. So you go into the post and come out, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. So that's called a front post double crochet. Into that next double crochet, we want to do just the regular double crochet onto the top of the stitch. Into the third one here, we're gonna do another front post double crochet. and then one on the top. We're just gonna keep alternating. Another front post double crochet. And the top. You're gonna keep repeating that all the way around. So when you get to your last stitch, you should end up with a double crochet onto the top. It'll be the opposite of what you started with. Just like that. So now you wanna slip stitch into the top of this double crochet that we started with, this, that we started with. <laughs> Chain two. So now for the next round, we wanna start off with one double crochet onto the top of this one like that and then see how that stitch looks a little bit shorter and it's kind of tucked back a little bit further that's where we're gonna do a front post double crochet so we're gonna bring that guy out so do pull up a loop pull through two pull through two and then one on top of this guy and then another front post so just keep alternating all the way across. You're gonna have a total of 18 double crochets for this round. All right, now we're coming to our last stitch. You should be ending this round with a front post double crochet. And then slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet 
and chain two. We've got to do this row one more time. So start with a front post half double crochet and then on top. And just repeat this until you get to the end. And you should end this round with one double crochet into the top of that last one. So now you want to slip stitch into the top again, chain two. That was the end of your fourth round of the green color. We're going to pull that up a little bit because we're actually going to start on the heel. So we'll pop these in there. So to do that, you're going to need your white again. And then you want to count over five stitches from where you left off. So we slip stitched here into the top of this double crochet. So that's going to count as one, two, three, four, five. We want to skip that and go into the sixth one. We're going to attach our white. So pull up a loop, chain one, and then we want to do a half double crochet into that same spot. And then you're going to place one half double crochet into the next eight stitches for a total of nine. So there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to do a half double decrease into the very first two stitches. So to do that, you want to yarn over, go through that first stitch and pull up a loop. And then you want to go directly into that second stitch, pull up a loop. So now you have four loops on your hook and then yarn over, pull through all four. That's called a half double decrease stitch. I hope I said that right. And then into the next five stitches, you want to just place one half double crochet. And then we're going to do another decrease on the last two stitches. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all four, chain one and turn. Do that one more time. So we're going to do another decrease. And then three half double crochets. One, two, three, and then decrease again into the last two. Chain one and turn. So now we need to start increasing again. So instead of doing a decrease, we're going to put two half double crochets into this first stitch. One and two. And then one into each of the next three stitches. Two, three. And then two half double crochets into this last stitch. Chain one and turn. We're going to increase again, so yarn over, put two half double crochets into the first one, and then five half double crochets along, and then two into the last one. So you're going to end with a total of nine half double crochets, which is what we started with. So chain one. We're going to cut our yarn. You want to leave a little bit of a tail because we're actually going to sew the heel of this together. Let me show you what that means. So go ahead, pull this all the way through. You're going to need your tapestry needle. Go ahead and thread that. 
get it ready. So now looking at your work, you're gonna fold this down so it lines up with this piece here. We're gonna do a whip stitch to combine this. So just go ahead and go through both sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oops, need to get that out of the way. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you do wanna make sure that you're getting both sides of this heel. So now I left this a little bit longer. This is just easier for me. I'll just go through and kind of weave this along the crease. You're not gonna see it. All this is doing is just getting your yarn to where you need it over here. Don't pull it too tight. Make sure that that's open. And then whip stitch this side. All right, and now you can just weave the end in. Pull your needle out and then you can go ahead and grab your scissors and cut that. So now, set those aside, you're just gonna pop this out. Look how cute! Your little stocking is starting to take shape. So now we can go back to the green. Remember we started with that chain two your hook back through. So for five rounds we're going to repeat what we did down here. So down here we did four rows of the half double or four rows of the double crochets. Now we're going to do five but it gets a little bit tricky in here. So let me show you how to do this next round. So if you look at your work you're going to put a double crochet onto the top of this guy here. A front post double crochet, one on top, a front post, and one on top. All right, so we just did five double crochets. Now we need to work onto the top of the heel of the stocking, but we need to combine three stitches here. So what I mean is yarn over into that little hole. You're going to pull up a loop. It gets a little bit messy right here. You're going to kind of just put your hook through and pull up a loop just somewhere it'll fit and then somewhere just slightly above it and pull up a loop. So now you should have five loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through three, and then yarn over and pull through the last three. Now you can just go ahead and put one double crochet onto the top of each of these across. So this was your sixth double crochet for this round. Here's your seventh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. When you get to the 14th one, you're gonna stop for a second because here's where we're gonna combine these three stitches again. So yarn over, pop your needle through, your hook through here, pull up a loop, Go through there, pull up a loop, and go through that very first green one, pull up a loop. And over, pull through three, and over, pull through three. So that's your 15th double crochet. 
and you'll know that you have five left on this round, so that um, actually will leave you with a total of 20 double crochets, which is the right amount of stitches that you want for this round. So there's five, 15. Now this is the shorter one, so this is a front post. 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. You should be ending this with a front post double crochet, slip stitch into the top and chain two. All right, let me show you what this is looking like so far. Just like that. And then we're gonna repeat this around uh, four more times. So I'll do the next round with you. So again, that's a little shorter guy there. You wanna do a front post. The top. Front post. Top. Front post. And then when you get back here, um, where it was just the double crochets, just keep repeating this pattern. So we just did a front post. So now we just need to do a top a front post, one on top, front, top, Up. and then that should even out so this one here is a front and a top and a front and a top All right, now slip stitch into the top, chain two, and repeat that again. All right, I'm at the last stitch of this round. Another double crochet there. Slip stitch to the top, chain two. And you're gonna repeat that row again. So front post and top. All right, let's slip stitch into the top of this, chain two, and this is our final round in the green. So we're just gonna do this row one more time. All right, I'm coming to my 20th Double crochet. All right, so there is where we were gonna stop the green. We're not gonna completely slip stitch through because we need to change back to the white. So you do want to start the slip stitch in the top like we've been doing for every round so far. Grab your white. We're gonna attach that. Chain one. Give that a little tug. We can cut the green off. Okay, for the next two rounds, we're gonna put one half double crochet into the top of each of these stitches from the previous round. So now we're just gonna go into the top of the double crochets. So one half double crochet into each. you pull the green all right so there's one two three okay now we're at 19 and 20 and then we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that first 
half double crochet, chain one, and repeat that round one more time. So just one half double crochet onto the top of each of these stitches. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of this round, putting my last half double crochet, slip stitch into the top, and for our final round, we're gonna chain one and just put one single crochet into every single stitch around for a total of 20. All right, I'm coming to my last stitch, single crochet, slip stitch to the top, and then chain one. Now you can cut your white. You're not gonna need that anymore. Pull this all the way through. And now your stocking is just about finished. Look how cute that is. We just have to weave this in, but I'm gonna show you how to make a seamless stitch here. All right. So now to kind of finish this off so it's a little bit more seamless up top so you don't have this little bubble, you wanna take your tapestry needle, go ahead and thread that. Okay, so when you're looking at the top, this, this next chain here is where you wanna start. So you wanna go from the back to the front, go underneath both of those loops and just pull this through. And then right before this little knot here, you wanna go into the middle and go through the back loop. There you go. And then that's gonna make it so you can't really see where it stopped. And since your tail is threaded through your needle, you can just go ahead and weave it through the back side. Don't pull it too tight. Come back across. Right, that's good. Now you can just pull it out, give it another little tug so it's not too tight. Get your scissors. You're gonna clip this end. All right, let's get these all out of the way. And now your stocking is finished. How cute is this? Oh my goodness, I love the texture. I love the size of it. It's a great size for just like a little stocking um, stuffer. You could um, put a little gift card in here if you'd like, and you can make so many different colors. I actually have another one here. So a bunch of different colors, they come together so quickly, and I hope you guys make lots of these. And um, if you do, make sure to show me what you work on, because I love to see your work. You can find me um, on Instagram at Jen Noel Boutique. I'll leave all the links below. I hope that this was a very fun tutorial and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again.